breaking news, guys. Nigerians react as 10 northern governors jet out to United States for peace summit. <laughs> Not when Musa no go see for gate for this country. You see, these people, they keep on deceiving themselves. Yes. Now, United States, now in waiting, they do them, they do them. Bandits, terrorists, waiting there, all those vocal boys, and they buy your people. They don't drive them, come off from their ancestral homes. So these governors, all these northern leaders, they won't let us know, say, they don't get idea of waiting, they happen. Or even if they won't stop waiting, they happen for their region, they don't just get any clue at all how to go about it. Anyway, the time when they talk, say, man, I fall from heaven, it don't go be that. This time around, now, now go remove myself from this cage. When I use my hand, stay tie on herself. When I they shout, you know, not an, uh, not, not, not an Edas forum, they shout. President Bola met Tinubu, he won't finish them all. He they marginalize them all. Insecurity won't kill them all. Now today is that. These are hypocrites. They have finally gotten their voice because a Sultana is now in there in that presidency. Now they don't they see wrongs happening in their region. But all this wise, all this why for good eight years, they were romancing with bandits and Boko Haram. They cheer them up. Then go go kidnap people. Now then they take government, negotiate with them. Give them amnesty. You not do that for, uh, what is it they call them? Niger Delta militants. You can also do it for them. The risk, we not want to compare bad thing. Anyway, make we not just go that Niger Delta militant matter. Because the world know that they fought for their rights. These bandits, when they keep people, they could just sleep, wake up, enter one community. Go enter one mosque or church. Beep, they go buy people. Waiting, they talk, say, be their problem. They know the root of banditry in their region. They can as well end it if they want to. So this worker now just to waste Nigerians' uh, taxpayers' money. Wasting our resources for nothing. They go, they go post. Because the problem in your region can be fixed here in the region, in your region, not in the U.S. You understand? They are flexing themselves. My people, the governor of Jigawa State, uh, Mala Umar Namdi, Namadi, okay, along with nine other governors from northern Nigeria, they have departed though, from the United States to participate in a peace summit which was organized by the United States Institute of Peace, USIP. Niger News Nahi Carrier, they understand that the summit will take place on Tuesday, April 23rd, 2023. Okay, that was yesterday. Titled, Advancing Stability in Northern Nigeria, Strategic Conversation with Nigerian's Governors. The event aims to explore Nigerian's potential for peace in the midst of ongoing tensions and violence. The summit aims to explore proactive approaches that Nigerian leaders and citizens can adopt in order to tackle challenges across their states. As per information on the USIP's website, the summit will offer a platform for governors from Jigawa, uh, Kastina, Zamfara, Kaduna, Niger, Sokoto, Kibi, Kano, and Plateau to share their perspective on the most crucial issues affecting their states and the wide region. The summit is also expected to examine how stability in northern Nigeria can contribute to progress and prosperity for the entire country. According to reports, a senior advisor at the African Center of the USIP, Ambassador uh, Johnny uh, Carson will be leading the discussions during the sessions. The summit aims to provide valuable pro perspectives and possible strategies for attaining long-lasting peace 
and security in northern Nigeria. The northern Nigerian uh, rain, uh, region continues to face ongoing issues such as sojourns, uh, communal conflicts, and uh, economic inequalities, which hinder its stability and development. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. They can't do that in Nigeria. Hmm? And another thing they want to do, how destabilize the effect of peace. Now, Nigeria, we need peace, not America. Make peace in your country. Make peace in your region first. That is burning. Just, just stop fooling yourselves. How I wish their plane will crash in the air and bring to an end of all this criminality and nonsense. Criminals wasting the resources of their people. What is the business of the U.S. and the problem in the northern Nigeria, which are mainly kidnapping and poverty? Why can't they have the peace meeting in Kaduna or Kano? Are they at war with the U.S. or what? Why are they, why are they going for peace summit in the U.S.? What do they know that is going on in the northern Nigeria? Something is really happening now. Imagine. Okay, guys. Uh, these are some reactions from Nigerians, as you can see. Majority of Nigerians are not happy with this movement. Wait till they work out and then they do. As people don't, they talk, say, see, eh, eh, make a tell on These people, another thing they go do. If not, they know how to hide, end the problem in their region. Every day, there are people that they buy them, left, right, and center. Eh, uh -huh. They know how these things came to play. So why can't they end it? And if Northerners are expecting Nigerian government or whatever, anybody to come and help them, they are just deceiving themselves. That time don't go, that time don't work out. If they want to end the problem in their region, they can do it by themselves. So any other person will just now help you, go help you. But not be say you go carry your two hands, put for back. You they expect somebody when they that side. May they can't help you. You go so gary tired with that. It's just unfortunate that... Um, Innocent people, you know, not them, they go in for this. I bet my people, make we hit another news. How do I see this matter? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.